How's it going, Florida State football fans? Kurt Weiler, Jerry Kutz here for the Osceola after the first day of Florida State spring football practice. Well, it feels fun. like the last season just ended, and here we are again, thankfully, back at it. It's, it's a pleasure to be, be out there. It is. It, I thought, I mean, obviously a day I think a lot of people were interested in because so many newcomers. A lot yeah. of freshmen, a lot of transfers again. I mean, uh, I really uh, think there's, what, twenty over 25 new guys on the team this semester, new scholarship you guys. Roster. Yeah, I absolutely did. I didn't have one, and I was using my phone a little bit. That and uh, Cooper and I were complaining about the fact that even the guys you know are wearing different numbers now. That too. Uh, Azaria Thomas uh, had, I thought, a really good day. We could we could start with him. I mean, he uh, he really impressed. He switched to eight. He's a guy who switched eight. numbers, took Renardo Green's number, and I thought uh, had a Renardo Green esque day. It was a very good lockdown type player. I thought it was the day the defense performed well. I think you often hear the defense is ahead of the offense to start especially when you're introducing so many new quarterbacks and, and receivers and just new guys all over the offense. But I thought it was a good day for a lot of guys on defense. I did too. And I, I've noticed as a Ray doing a lot of coaching. Uh, there's some, uh, the Howard kid uh, is just as long, it looks like to me, as, uh, as a Ray. And he was coaching him up a lot on, you know, how they run a drill and giving him some pointers. Yeah, I thought, uh, I mean, We'll learn much more in the next few days once the pads are on. But yeah. the, the defensive linemen, I mean, I, I saw, I thought it last week after tour duty. I thought again today, literally in stretching each of the four new defensive linemen, the transfers, uh, Tomiwa, Sione, Marvin, and uh, Grady Kelly. Yeah. I thought they all looked big, even before the pads come on. They they fit the part physically, and we'll learn more in the next few days. It's hard to take too much away from a practice like that before the, it the is. pads are on. It is. And Pat and I, were, Pat Burnham and I, were talking about you know the athleticism is, you know, um, are they as athletic as, as they were last year on that front? And I think it's hard to make a judgment right now because those four guys are trying to learn the yep. drill. And so they're going, you know, Odell kept slowing them down, saying, you know, I don't want you to go full speed. I want you to do it right. You know, let's get the drill right today. And we'll get faster later. Well, and it's, I think, a, a differently uh, shaped practice for some guys, too. I and mean, we talked to Malik Benson after the practice, the Alabama wide receiver transfer, and he said uh, 24 periods is the most he's ever had in a practice. They're like, oh, wow. yeah, I guess I don't know if Bama did less less longer periods or how, how it was scripted, but it's a little different all around. But uh, I thought Malik had a really good day. I mean, the, uh, the speed is as advertised. He caught, I think, a deep ball from DJ Uyengale at one point. We should talk about DJ, obviously. Yeah. That's the thing that a lot of people care about. I thought he made some really nice throws. You see the talent. He looks like he's played a lot of college football. He also, I think, looked like a guy surrounded by brand new teammates and in learning a new offense and that it, it wasn't perfect right away. Not that you would expect it to be. No, no, it, it wasn't. He had, I, I wrote in my notes, uh, and I didn't include it in the report I gave you, but he, right after throwing a duck, he threw a beautiful slant pass that was He's got a he's got a lively arm. He does. He throws it. Uh, Luke Cromanhawk, I thought, also yeah. had a had a has a lively arm. I think he throws a very catchable ball. I think it's not surprising that for a freshman quarterback, they went to seven on and eleven on later, and it looks like things sped up a little bit. It's going to take a little time to get used to the speed of the game at this okay. level. But I thought he uh, had a really. Uh, for what you would want from a freshman quarterback in the first practice uh, at this level. Who's another guy, Jerry? There's another guy on offense who stood out to you. Let's kind of look at the... Well, you know, uh, the speed of uh, a couple of those guys stood yeah. out to me. Um, uh, Douglas's brother... Jalen Lucas is... Jalen uh, Lucas can fly. The, the speed is something. The acceleration also really yeah. wowed me. There was a screen. He caught, he caught a screen in 11 on, took off down the sideline, and he hits top speed like... That. Yeah, like he, it he is. flashed right in yep. front of me. It was yep. like, oh, wow. He is, uh, he I thought Cam, Cam Davis does not look like a true freshman. We've said that kind of all along, but he's uh, a physical specimen. I thought some of the receivers had really good days. I mean, we're we're going to get into all of this on, on the Osceola. We're going to have an extensive written up report. Yeah, we could talk for an hour we could. about it because we we're could. excited. We will soon enough, I'm sure. Let's see yeah. a little more and yeah. we'll, we will have a longer talk. I, you know, my observation, one, because that was my assignment today, was defense and it's my passion. So uh, I, some of the guys that flashed there to me, I mean, you can tell Patrick Payton and Daryl Jackson have been through these drills before because they hit the, the ground running today. And uh, they, they were very impressive to me in the drills. Patrick Payton, who's up 15 pounds, by the way, that's a, a pretty significant weight gain. And with what he's done, I think he was 239. Now at 254, you kind of go like, how can that change things for him? That feels like that could be a, a difference maker for a guy like him. Yeah, we'll have uh, we'll have plenty more on on the Osceola. We have one more. Go ahead, Hussey. I love Hussey. He's put on 15 pounds, yep. and he's 
he bounces around. I mean, he's, he's very uh, energetic. He's like an energizer. Yeah, for yeah. sure. You know? For sure. So that's fun. To, oh, one, one more guy I'll, I'll add is uh, Earl Little Jr. Uh, and the, you guys didn't get to see this, but the, but he was he looked like he's been here for four years. He's very comfortable in what he's doing up there. Yeah, so. I mean, he uh, the talent's always been there for him. I think injuries kind of kept him off the field at Alabama, but he uh, I think has a chance to do something really special here. That, he like, could be a he could be an early an early contributor. I think a hundred percent. Yeah, well, uh, it's always great to be back out here. We'll be back out here again on Thursday for practice number two. Have updates tonight on the on the website on the Osceola Florida State Rivals uh, Check it out if you haven't. We appreciate it. We'll talk to you next time.